In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Fancybox plugin for WordPress. So let's get started. Just go to Plugins and click on Add New. And we're going to search for Fancybox for WordPress. Now, you'll only want to search for this one. There are other Fancybox plugins. This is the best one. So just search for Fancybox for WordPress. And you'll know it's the right one because it was made by Jose Pardilla. Go ahead and click install. And we're going to install this. Okay, let's activate the plugin. So the plugin's activated. So now all we need to do is go to a either a post or a page. Just gonna add a new post. I'm gonna call this fancy box test. And now I just need to add some photos. So I'm going to select some photos from my desktop. And WordPress uploads these and resizes them based on the values that you've set on your theme, or excuse me, on your settings page. So we'll just go ahead and click Save Settings. In order for your images to use the Fancybox plugin, you need to select Image File. And I'm just going to leave my images organized by menu order, and I'm going to put them in a three column uh, grid. So just click Insert Gallery, publish this. Now we can view the post, and here we go. So now we have a fancy box gallery. You can control the settings on the fancy box settings page. That's located in settings underneath fancy box for WordPress. I usually like to set my overlay options to zero. That's just black. And then I set the opacity of black to 0.7. That allows the effect that you see here, just darkens the screen a little bit and allows the user to really focus in on your photos.